Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's been a while. Uh, today I have an original tutorial for you guys, my little OG tutorial on how to access blocked websites uh, in your school or workplace. The original way, my original way. Now, there might be a couple tutorials on how to do this, but this is my original way of doing it. Uh, the way I do it, I tweak it out a bit. Um, but yeah, this is with no proxies, so you. Like, you can show this off to your friends at school, and you won't look like a complete noob. Because everyone knows how to do it through uh, proxies. Uh, I tried to do that once during freshman year. Uh, I was like, oh yeah, I know how to access Facebook. And I was like, everyone was like, oh yeah, we know how to do that too. Proxies, yeah, noob. I was like, oh geez. Put me down like that. And um, yeah, there's an original way of how to do it. Using a flash drive only. Uh, do this at home first. Test it out. You know, if you like it, cool. Um... If you try this at school, leave me a comment, see if it worked. So, to get on with the tutorial, you want to head over to torproject.org. Link will be in the description. If you have Microsoft Windows, download the Tor Browser Bundle version 1.3.15. If you have uh, Apple OS X, download the Tor Browser Bundle for OS X Intel Beta version download. Um, so, just click download. And save file. I'm not gonna do that. I already have it on my desktop. Once you save it, it's gonna be in a 7-zip file. It's okay. You're always gonna have it a uh, 7-zip. So just double click on it. Click run. Yes, I want to extract it to the desktop. You want? You might want to do the same thing too. So let it load up. It always gets stuck on 24. I don't know why. And then it just goes on from there. Okay, we got it good. So this is the thing. This is a folder you need to drag and drop into your flash drive. So I'm not going to do that because I don't really have a flash drive. I don't think so. No, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. That's too far. So you just drag and drop it onto your flash drive. And uh, this, is how you, this is how you work it. So I'm just going to go to View, Large Icons. You don't want to mess with any of that stuff. So just leave all this stuff alone and follow my instructions. Now, before I continue with the instructions, I just want to show you, oh, not show you, I just want to tell you how this works. How this works is Tor, what it does is, um, how should I put this? It finds little pipe holes and looks for that blocked interface. And once it finds that blocked part where it doesn't let you do anything, it's kind of like a script file and it kind of disables it temporarily. So just double click on uh, Start Tor Browser. I should say Connecting to Tor. And uh, yeah, this is loading network status. Now it, this uses its own network, which is really cool. That that's what allows you to do it, and it comes with Firefox Portable, so that's even better. So establishing a Tor circuit. Um, it should say connected to the Tor network. Then it opens up Firefox. And then you're good. And it should say, Congratulations, your browser is configured to use Tor. Please refer to Tor for information about Tor safety. Make sure it says Tor enabled. If it doesn't, uh, it should say around here to enable it. Uh, <laughs> general media, same stuff. So you can just access any uh, browser you want, or web browser website you want uh, through your flash drive, make sure not to extract it to uh, your school or uh, your school or workplace's desktop because you can get in trouble. And I am not responsible for anything that happens. If you get in trouble, suspended, expelled, not my fault. But it's very unlikely that's going to happen. I don't know why they would do that with something so stupid. But yeah. That's how to do it. If you if it doesn't work, uh, just okay. Um, if it didn't work for you, just wait for it to connect again. Jeez. Uh, just go to settings and make sure it starts up with dot uh, backslash app backslash tor dot exe. Go back to settings. Um. If you use a proxy, make sure you click this one. Uh, just click I use a proxy. 
Uh, if your firewall only lets you connect certain points, click on that one. My uh, these are just things that happens. Now, if it only lets you connect certain ports, make sure you click on that one. If your school doesn't let you connect to the Tor network, click on that one. Add a bridge, which uh, all you do is click right here because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> it's how can I find my bridges? Uh, and it'll tell you step by step and how to do it. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you liked this tutorial. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. Peace out.